So I'm Dr. Emma Stapley. I'm a PhD candidate at Purdue University. So my project is on PPID, which you know is a very common condition in older horses. We know there's a range of clinical signs associated with this disease and that it's associated with a lot of different potential risks for horses, increased risk of corneal ulcers, increased risk of tendon disease, but we don't really know what that's gonna look like over the course of the horse's entire lifetime. Um, so what we did is we took our primary care veterinary service that works out of Purdue and looked at their medical records. So every horse they diagnosed with PPID, we looked through their medical records, and then we took horses that had either a similar breed, similar owner, and were in a similar age that hadn't been diagnosed with PPID and compared how many different medical events they were having, what category of medical events they were having, and nipped it if our PPID group was significantly different from the controls. So with 132 horses in our PPID group and 274 in the control group, um, the big findings that we saw was that our PPID group did have a few more medical events, but over the course of their medical record, they had the same number of medical events per year as our control horses. So they weren't necessarily being more problematic, but maybe there would be one or two more visits for an owner over the course of that horse's life. Um, they were also more likely to have neurologic disease associated with either the spinal cord or the peripheral nerves. Um, they were more likely to need a dental extraction or have equine odontoclastic tooth reabsorption and hypersemantosis. Um, they were more likely to be kept at the owner's home. Maybe they were just that much more familiar with their horses when they were chatting out clinical signs like that. In contrast to other studies, we did find that they were a little bit less likely to have a high parasite burden compared to controls. Um, unsurprisingly, they were a lot more likely to get laminitis compared to controls. They were also more likely to have been prescribed NSAIDs over the course of their life. Maybe they were just suffering more inflammatory diseases over their entire medical record. But critically, they weren't more likely to be euthanized at a younger age. In fact, they were usually about a year older than controls that were euthanized during the course of the study. And when we looked at the major categories of reasons that our PPID versus control horses were euthanized, they weren't significantly different between the two groups. So even though this disease does need management, it might cause more difficulties for the horse over their life. It's not going to shorten the horse's life, and it's not going to be something that they're going to be euthanized exclusively because of that lifetime. We're very excited to share this and hopefully it helps our sores.